know there's something, there's a strange connection going on these days between basketball coaches and horse racing. For instance, Denny Crum has had horses that he has owned. Rick Patino, of course, has a, uh, a derby horse this year. And, and uh, Bobby Knight is good friends with D. Wayne Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> and D. Wayne Lucas wears that Indiana hat. You know, Every one, once in a while you'll see it, that big eye on that red hat. At one point in his career, I believe he was a basketball coach. You know, of course, basketball is never out of season here in Kentuckiana. And so we go to our coach, Bob Valvano, with the coach, Denny Crum. Bob? <laughs> Well, truly a man who needs no introduction with Coach Denny Crum. Coach, when you first came out here from California, did you know this was this big a deal? No, but it doesn't take long to figure <laughs> it out. You know, I'd always been around horses and done a lot of riding and things, but those were quarter horses, and uh, it was a natural transition here to get involved with thoroughbred. So, and I've been involved in it in a lot of years now. Not not as serious as a lot of people, but hopefully uh, when I get uh, done with the coaching and I have more free time, I'm going to plan on training. Uh, Breeding and raising and training my own. Well, D. Wayne Lucas basketball background, he's done pretty well. There you go. He's done exceptionally well, yeah. <laughs> As you come year after year, does it lose some of the specialness just because you've been around it so long, or is it the other way around? As I've been here, I think it gets you appreciate it even more. Oh, I, I love it. I mean, I don't know anybody that's ever been out here to this, assuming the weather's decent, that uh, that it hasn't had a good time and look forward to coming back. And this is my 27th straight year in. Uh, I hope I can make 27 more. Just real quick, you pleased with the way the recruiting season's gone for you? Yeah, I don't ever really judge how good they are until uh, I see how they can play. But uh, you know, at this level, but I mean, on paper, we you know we should have filled some of the gaps we had, and uh, we should be a much better team next year. Any hint at when uh, a final word from the NCAA comes down with you guys? Oh, I don't know. I, it, it, there's no way to know. Uh, I mean, it's just one secondary violation is all there is, and uh, I, I mean, I don't know. No way to tell. No way to tell. All right. Well, good luck. It's good seeing you. Good luck the rest of the day. Have a good Thanks. weekend. Thanks. For Oaks 124, Bob Valvano. And that is Bob with U of L coach Denny Crum. Denny says he's been here 27 years in a row. That's that's really incredible.